integrated accounting and inventory management software. Your Spire module tutorial is about to begin. This tutorial video explains batch accounts payable. So we go into accounts payable, and here's where we have all our aged payables. We can go into each individual vendor to pay a single vendor by checking off their checks. But now we have batch payables. And if you click on batch, you can either view the batch list or create a batch. And if you go view batch list, you'll see if there's any batches already created because you can have several of them running at the same time. And then from here, you could just hit plus as well. So at this point, you pick a due date, or if you want everything, just choose leave it, leave it blank. You pick the currency that you want to work on, the payables account, and the starting check number at the top here. So if we have a look at our check pile and we see it's 24595 now, so we change it to 24595 in a note. So if you wanted to um, ask for approval, you can put uh, the, a note on here that says, please approve or something. This is just a note previous to posting this batch. And then we hit load payables and it brings up all the payables with that criteria. So the due date, the currency and the AP account. Okay, there's tick marks on the ones that are uh, have a discount, but if you want, you can also go in here and say take expired discounts, and it'll add on some more if you wish. So you can you can tick, uh, it'll take either take the discount if there was one uh, one due that was expired, or you can just manually key in a discount that you're going to take for that one. So then you can select all due, and then all the due invoices will be ticked off. And if you want to sort this, you can do that by date or by due date uh, or by vendor. So if you want to look at a vendor list as you're paying them, you see that this one here for fitness development is being paid. And you think, well, let's just go ahead and take this one as well since we're paying them anyway. You can do that. Make any edits you need to change here. You can um, view the customer's invoice or PO here by clicking on that or the vendor. And then if you wish now, you can just save and close this. And then if you close that all off and come back to batches later and go view batch list, you have a batch that started here. And all you need to do is go into it and all the ones that you selected for pay show up. And if you create another one, if you choose the same criteria, then you can just say load payables and it brings out the ones that you hadn't paid yet. And you can go ahead and pay these as well. So I check all those and save it. I now have two batches running. Typically, you do that for uh, one currency in one batch, another currency in another, but it could be that you've, you're have you paying invoices for different divisions or maybe a different location or something like that. So once you want to go ahead and pay this, you uh, can now post it. And you sure you want to pay these eight items? Yes, I do. Preview. And there I have my checks, one, two, three, four, all the way up to the you know, these five different checks paid eight different invoices. And that's basically how the batch payables work. So now if it say the print checks printed successfully, I say yes. And then if I want the attachments, like a, if it was a, a check that had more invoices on it that fit on a check, you could go continue and it would print that report off as well. And otherwise you're done and you just have that one batch left in here. And that's it to the batch payables. Thank you for watching this tutorial. This module lesson is now complete.